I love chicken and corn fed chicken for me is so full of flavor. And I'm gonna show you a really lovely recipe. Um, it's Supreme of chicken. And what a Supreme means everyone is that the bone is in it, on it should I say. <laughs> yeah, and it's just gives so much flavor. So this is the Irish corn fed chicken, Borbia quality assured and it's fed on maize so that's what gives it that lovely yellow color but the flavor it's moist it's tender it's succulent honestly i think it's a fantastic product uh, i'm going to show you the pan fried really really simple we're going to make a lovely uh, cream sauce and we're going to put in some lovely irish bacon lardons from o'neill's and they're based in wexford they're the same producers that we use in the restaurant for our bacon for breakfast and they're just great people really admire them so they hand cure their bacon and um, i'm going to show you a lovely uh, cream sauce i actually made this recently at home and posted it and a lot of people were saying how did you make the sauce so i'm going to show you now and then we're going to serve with some pasta so let's get the chicken in because we already have one done it does take about on the bone it definitely takes longer it'll take about fifth sorry 20 to 25 minutes to cook the chicken uh, that it's cooked through so i'm going to use some rapeseed oil and i'm going to use a little bit of butter and the key into cooking any meat, whether it's steak or pork or lamb or chicken in this case, is take it out of the fridge, bring it to room temperature. Don't take it out of the fridge because it's firm and it'll firm up. You want it to relax and be really soft and just take it out maybe 20 minutes before you actually uh, cook it or pan fry it. So we're melting the butter. Uh, we're going to literally put the chicken skin side down and then I'm gonna season this so I am, okay. So we're going to season this with some salt and pepper and we're going to get a nice little bit of uh, color onto this now one herb that works really well with chicken and you see me using it in lots of my videos is fresh thyme i just think it is so delicious and gorgeous and we're just going to pop it into the pan you can hear a crackling there so you can while that's on because we're going to make the sauce in the pan we are going to uh, do our mushrooms and our garlic for our uh, sauce so we're going to literally slice the mushrooms cut them in half use the stalk and uh, what you do with mushrooms guys you just literally wipe them with a clean uh, j cloth a uh, damp tissue never wash them they become waterlogged so these are the chestnut mushrooms that's probably more than enough i have there for this here so just two mushrooms there a little bit of garlic but i'm also putting pesto in so it's like a double hit of garlic so it is okay just keep a little eye on that i want to get a bit more color in that so one clove of garlic is going to go in there and that's going to be the base for the sauce so we'll talk about this lovely lardons of bacon so lardons really what it means guys is little strips of bacon and this is the board be a quality mark so we know we're supporting irish producers irish farmers and that's so important for each and every one of us i think so so these are from o'neill's and they're based in wexford and they would have won a small producer of the year for uh, simply better a couple of years ago they're wonderful people i really like them i meet them at lots of the shows and i just think they're just really good honest hard-working people so mel if we zoom in here you can see that lovely color so the color comes from the cornfield but also the butter will give that beautiful color and flavor and, and i'm telling you it is just so delicious when you cook anything on the bone it takes longer a little bit here for in this case but you get the most beautiful flavor and i love eating the meat around the bone now you can get the corn fed supremes uh, or the not the supremes but the breasts uh, with no bone just the skin or you can get them skinless whatever you want it's the same technique the exact same technique now what i'm going to do guys we're going to finish this in the oven so i'm going to lift it using the tray you can put the pan in but i'm going to be honest with you i with any nonstick pan, and this is part of my cookware collection, it's tested to go into the oven, but if you want to keep it for a long time, I, I just would do what I'm doing here. Pop it onto a, kind of like a, an oven proof dish, into the oven, 180, and that'll take at least 20 to 25 minutes. I have one done, so I'll take it out uh, in a minute. I just want to get my sauce on. Okay, so we're gonna put more butter in. <laughs> Me and the butter and we're just gonna get my spatula here. So I'll just remove any little bits of thyme there. Okay, so we'll put in our bacon first of all, into the same pan, don't be washing it, because that's where the flavor is. And we're gonna put in our mushrooms and our garlic. So let's get lots of lovely flavor. Now, I don't want the butter to burn, so remember the little tip, just a splash of some lovely rapeseed oil from Ireland. Okay, pasta, salt, this is fresh pasta. So you can use any of the Simply Better dried pastas for this. And I'm using this lovely, we, I love this. 
I love this just with butter when you cook it obviously and um, even with some prawns it's fantastic so this is the spaghetti but I want to show you this this is the pappadella it's just a thicker pasta so these are made made, made with free rage eggs and uh, they're part of the Italian Simply Better Italian collection they're just delicious really really lovely excellent quality I always have some of this in the fridge and the twins love it maybe if they come back from school they want something quick and simple it's cooked in literally two minutes so a nice handful of the fresh pasta this is the fresh not the dried so it cooks much faster now really important tip don't put it back into the fridge like that what you do is just if you roll this up wrap it in cling film and into the fridge and then that's it done okay so all I put into the pasta is um, a little bit of the uh, of uh, salt that's exactly what I've done and let's give this a nice mix here so it doesn't take long it's going to be a cream sauce and to make the cream sauce we're going to use some of this nice creamy Italian mascarpone cheese okay so I'm going to put a spoonful of that in there and I love this pesto I really really I'm a big fan of this and this is the fresh uh, Italian basil pesto so it is so we're going to put in uh, some of this into it at the very end oh yeah one thing that's really nice on the chicken and um, is a little bit of lemon zest works really well if you want to grate some of that before it goes into the oven okay so let's have a little look at our pasta so that's cooking away there guys a little bit of salt plenty of water that's really important and that will literally just take you know a couple of minutes it doesn't take long at all so see the way this is cooking out that's really nice we've got a nice bit of color lots of lovely flavor and you can put in more garlic don't worry but remember we are having our garlic from the uh, pesto yeah okay big spoonful of the fresh mascarpone you can use creme fraiche I've done this before creme fraiche but uh, there was so much interest when I done this for, for, for dinner one evening at home and I said okay we're definitely gonna do a video of this now I want to show you a little tip we're gonna loosen up the mascarpone so just using a ladle we're going to use some of the pasta water you can use stock I'm using the pasta water a little bit of that and then we're going to mix this all through it's going to be nice and creamy and delicious let's turn down the heat here I have the sieve there because I need that for my pasta and this sauce actually will keep it will keep for three or four days in your fridge and it's great you know with pork chops too it really is but that bacon, bacon is so delicious I think I need a little bit more water if we have a little look here Mella you can just see it just I don't want it too thick I don't want it too gloopy that's exactly so just another little tiny bit of water there and I'm gonna move it to a lower ring okay so let's move it here and then we put in the pa the pasta so we will or the pesto should I say now so for our lovely uh, fresh basil pesto I'm gonna put in a couple of spoonfuls so that's it there you see the little bit of texture from the parmesan the pine nuts beautiful basil the extra virgin olive oil a couple of spoonfuls of that and then we're going to put in a little touch of salt and that's it done guys it's as easy as that there's nothing difficult about this at all oh, the smell of that mm. see the way it's kind of a uh, tainted it in a little bit of green and we'll put a little bit of fresh basil into it it's not essential but i have a plant here and why not use it okay let's strain our pasta so it's cooked and what you do you cook your pasta until it's al dente which means that it's just cooked and it's firm to the bite and I love so what I do is put a little bit of butter just a little cube well I call that a little cube and then we mix that all together so you have your lovely I've kept a tiny little bit of the water can you see that there just to keep it nice and moist and that's it it's as simple as that I'm going to take out my chicken I'm going to show you not the one that I cooked but I had already one cooked because it definitely does take on the bone at least um, my one took uh, 20 minutes so we roll up a little bit of fresh basil and then we're going to chop this so it's a really quick recipe this you can have this sauce made it's really lovely actually this sauce with some pasta you know you can throw in some cooked chicken too it works really really well so the mascarpone cheese that lovely fresh basil and those bacon lardons from Anil's based in Wexford fantastic and that's it there not that nice Let's switch it off okay I'm gonna take out my chicken and uh, use a tea towel make sure that it's uh, not damp or wet or anything like that and you can see the lovely little bit of time here so I will just show you I'm just using my trivet here Mella, and show you nice and close make a little bit of room so this is the chicken so how do you test when the chicken is cooked normally what I do is you know I just press it and when it's firm to the touch because this is where you need to go at night 
sorry, close to the bone. And normally what I do is just get a spoon and baste this lovely, this is the butter, this is the oil, and those lovely juices there. Okay, so that's the corn-fed chicken supreme. So we're gonna serve this up. Uh, you can slice the chicken, I'm not. I'm just going to literally just ar arrange this now. I'll move this out of the way. Chefs, we're used to touching some hot things. And uh, then we'll just move this. Be careful of this here. Okay. So remember the key thing when you're cooking any meat is that you get the um, chicken and you take it out of the fridge and you let it relax. That's so important, so it is. Now the next thing then is our pasta. Okay. So we just literally just place that, kind of just twist it a little bit. Get a little bit of height if you can. It doesn't, it's not gonna taste any difference if you spoon it or whatever like that. And then just move this around. I want to have the sauce on the side, not over the chicken, because I think the skin of the chicken is delicious. For me, it's probably one of the best parts of it. And if you think this is a little bit thick, what I'm serving here, you can loosen this up. But you don't want it too runny at the same time. You can put a little bit of stock or more of the pasta water there. It's simple, it's easy, it's delicious, and trust me, if you do this for your family, they'll absolutely love it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And then I think just to finish it, I'm gonna put a little bit more pesto, just literally, just a little bit, just over the pasta there. Just a tiny little bit, because I really like this pesto. I don't think you can ever have enough of it. I think it's so good, so delicious. It's the fresh basil pesto. So that's my, um, Supreme of chicken, that's the breast of chicken on the bone with the fresh uh, pasta and then that lovely bacon and mushroom sauce. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. I think there's great flavor, beautiful textures, and I think it's one that everyone will enjoy. Thank you so much.